Hey everyone, Shaver1000 here. Today we're going to be checking out this Digit Now film scanner. I'll explain to you what that is if you don't know here in just a second. But it's Monkey's birthday today. Well, actually, it's over because it's midnight. So technically, it's September 1st, but her birthday was August 31st, which most of you guys will see this tomorrow on September 1st. So it'll be yesterday that was her birthday. Um, so I got this for her, and I'll tell you why here in a minute. Um, and I thought the air conditioner was off, but I guess it's not. Um, so anyway, slide on over to her channel when you're done with this video and show her some love and maybe even write it in the comments below. It's her birthday. So anyway, let's get into this and we'll talk about it. what I got her for her birthday and I got I got her this what it is is preserve old memories quickly um, you can put film in here um, like the negatives and you can snap a picture of it and it'll be digital now or slides now I got it for because of the slides okay um, the reason why I got it for her for the slides is because uh, she has 12 of the Kodak rolls of slides, 12 of them. Um, and the uh, latest one is 1980. So we're going back to the mid 70s to 1980 um, of some slides that she has. And I'll show you how this thing works. Um, Happy birthday, monkey. Uh, I've already got it opened up because we were using it. We've just spent about five hours looking through old slides. And uh, here's the here's the manual. It's in a couple different languages. It gives you a little thank you card with a free three-year warranty. This must be like a quick start. A little quick start paper. This thing is so easy to use, guys. And I'll show you what it comes with. It comes with, of course, you, it's USB. You get your USB cable. You get your little, not charger because it doesn't charge up, but, you know, to turn it on and stuff. You can also use this to plug directly in to your computer. Or it does take a memory card up to 32 gigs um, and this is to plug it into the TV and that's what we did and her mom came out and saw some of the old videos so at the end of this video what I'm going to do is now I'll show you how this thing works and stuff but what I'm going to do at the end of this video is uh, let me fix you here I uh, don't care much for this tripod Anyway, so what I'll do at the end of this video is I'll, I'll throw some old um, photos up and I'll put the year of whatever photo it is so you can see how well this thing works. Now we're going to start off. Okay, we got it's got a brush. So it's got those four items. It has this. Now this thing does not work right. Okay, you're supposed to just drop a stack of slides in there they call it the quick slide or something like that and you're supposed to just drop your slides down in there and slide this over and back and it pushes it in here and you can view your slide take your picture or whatever then you slide another one and back and it'll put another one up here and push that one out the side. This does not work right. It does not fit the slides or the slides does not fit this thing for some reason. So I don't know if I can take this apart. This thing was like, I don't know, 50 some dollars on Amazon 
Uh, I think with shipping and everything, it come out to about sixty, sixty-three dollars. Uh, so it wasn't the expensive. Now they got them way over a hundred dollars. I'm sure that would work better than this. But the slides fit way too tight, and you got to push them down. Then they get stuck in here. So what we was doing was putting a slide in here and just looking at them one at a time. And she was snapshotting her pictures. You also get this. This is for um, your negatives. You can put your negatives in here that you get, you know, when you have your film developed and stuff, you know, they give you the negatives. You can put them in here, close that up, it's magnetic. Those little silver things you see there, they're magnetic. Now, I do like this thing. Those three magnetic things right there. You put it in there, slide it into your unit, which I'll show you here in just a second. And this is kind of cool. This is for slides, so you can see four of them without having to do one at a time. Same way, three magnets. Like that. And here's the unit. Like I said, it will hold up to a 32 gig card. This one didn't come with a card. I thought it did, but it didn't. But I gave, gave her a card to use. My extra card for my camera that I'm using here. And there's the card slot. And you have your playback button. You have um, this will mirror, it'll flip the picture. You got your on and your menu. This is how you snap your picture, that one. And this is to brighten it or dim it, make the image brighter or darker. So this is pretty cool. So we're gonna go ahead and get this plugged in. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick out some Pick out a few slides and put in here and I'll show you how it works. And then after that, we'll end the video with some with some old slides from like one of them's uh, Disney World from 1980. We'll show you that. And like I said, this is for to plug into your TV, back of your TV there and it worked great <clears throat> now we're gonna kick this on just like that and it's, it's telling me it needs a, a memory card um, so you go to your menu there's your menu capture what you do is this is your okay button as well the 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 one with the little camera's your okay button. And that'll tell you, you know, whether you want negatives or what. I've got it on slides right now, but you can change it. But I've got it on slides, and I'm going to hit okay. Now I'm going to pick out a few slides, and I'll show you how this works. I thought this was pretty neat. Kodachrome, baby. Mama didn't take my Kodachrome away, right? You guys remember that song? Yeah, anytime you see stuff like that, yeah, you're looking at vintage. I'll show you how to put these in here. We're just going to open this up like this. Lay it down. We're going to put four slides in here. Oops. Just like that. And we're going to close it just like that. Now let's see, I'm backwards here, so I'm gonna have to go this way. Let me see if I can zoom you in on that. Um, it'll light up if you plug it into your PC, it'll light up here when you got an SD card in, which I do not right now, but I'm gonna get some pictures for you guys to show you. And then of course there's your power button. So let's go ahead and Slide these in here. Let's get to the first one. And I don't know what you guys are seeing here. Hang on. I'll just pick this up and try to show you here. Okay, if it's upside down, hit this button here and you can flip it. So, 
let's uh there we go that's right side up i'm looking at my screen too it's upside down but this these photos here are from 1980 You go until it clicks or clips. That's the castle in the background. I'll, I'll put these on big screen at the end of this. And one of these, I think Monkey said it was the one. Like right behind the woman that's picking up the trash, sweeping up the trash. I think it's right behind her. I think she said it's the, uh, which she's got some, the, um, Carousel of Progress. If you guys ever been to Disney World, you know what I'm talking about. And let's see, what's this one? Okay, and that's Main Street there. So I'll put these. I'll put these on the uh, at the end. I'll do a little. Whoa. We'll need that. <laughs> My screen was upside down. That's why I was having trouble. I didn't have it all the way twisted, so everything was upside down. So there you go, do a little montage. I'll throw some old pictures in and the dates um, from these slides. Um, this is the boxes they come in. And this is, let's see, this one has, of course I'm not gonna <laughs> show you guys all these. I'll just put a few in. Um, Florida, July 1980 is these, what you're seeing here. Uh, Disney World, then there's um, Circus World, and also Cypress Gardens pictures in here from 1980, which is cool. And this is what they look like. Now, we do have a projector and a screen, but this is so much easier than trying to set up a camera, you know, onto a screen of a projector. And there they are. And she's got 12 of these. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. So anyway, like I said, swing on over, tell Monkey happy birthday, show her some love, and uh, happy birthday, Monk. So I got this for her because she was always, man, I got slides, I got slides, I want to watch my slides. And uh, for the longest time, we had the projector, but we didn't have the, uh, the lens. The lens was, we didn't know where it was when we had to move her mom out here. Well, monkey found the lens to it and I was like cool and then I seen a guy fixing one of these on YouTube and his channel names buy it fix it buy it and fix it or something buy it fix it it's his channel name it's a small channel but awesome he does stuff and he he got one of these in a job lot or a, you know like you buy a mystery box and it wasn't working right and he took it apart and repaired it and I was like that's what monkey needs I'm gonna get her one of them <laughs> so that's what I got monkey for her birthday so anyway happy birthday monkey love you and many more to you so just kind of a quick review yeah I mean all in all this thing works great it looks great on the TV um, it just if it wasn't for this I don't know if I can file some plastic down make them fit to where they just slide right down in I don't know you know, I'm, I'm not going to send it back for what I gave for it because it is fine. Uh, it'll do what we needed to do, but, you know, I'm, I might as well try to fix it. We'll see. Maybe that'll be in an upcoming video. But anyway, guys, I'll throw some images in here. We'll do a little montage, you know, a happy birthday for monkey thing. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, enjoy the pictures. Bye-bye, guys, and take care.